Hey guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it is Joshy here, and I am here with a hopefully quick enough video, or at least I'll get to the point at the start, then anything extra I want to show or do, I'll put in later. But we have working on item merging and how to get rare eggs and other items from the merging process. Now, just something I should note before I go into it, that with the item merging, um, I am using a um, GameSpot, GameFAQs um, walkthrough guide, which has a lot of information. I use this just for seeing which items are where on the list, and I'll post, I'll Put it up on the screen and I'll organize it so you can see because it doesn't cover one screen only I'll which you'll see I'll have it up here or I'll be putting it up here but two it also gives items uh, information on more so just to get to the point of it an item merging is by a specific flower in the wind forest if you're watching this you know what it is uh, if you aren't fully sure on how it all works just to make sure I get it simply the first item you put in dictates what type of item you'll get at the end and your second item dictates the rarity of the item that comes out and as you can see by the charts here uh, there's different types which are your herbs elixirs blah 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 your books and jewelry your gem spores and sweet night stuff and your eggs now if you do go through it, you'll notice some items aren't listed. Some may not be listed because there may not be data on them that people have found or that. They don't always turn out to be a mugwort, which they do turn into other things, which I have tried, but I'm not going to sit down because realistically, they're not the main items you're going to use for merging. For example, with them uh, would be all the items like the caltrops and that, which up the stats of a specific type of beast. But looking at eggs mainly, how you want to merge is by putting an egg as your first item and something else as your second. Now, looking specifically at the eggs, if we put an egg in our first slot, we then want to figure out which type of divine beast we want. Now, if we're after something like uh, general basic, and when I say general basic, I mean you've got your uh, slimies, uh, nars, leafs, garas, ogs, coos, alcos, and bugs. So all of them, all the three base of them. So there was six wind, six fire, six um water and six earth based eggs now you can see here they appear in both level one and level two which means the item you put second needs to come from one of these two columns now you can see that includes mugwort you can see different things from hp back flame book shield book timid book you know even another egg itself within there and that will guarantee that you will almost almost perfectly get one of these eggs now what you get isn't always evenly spread so one egg or if you're going for a different item might have more of a chance to pop up and a good example sometimes is like the level three eggs here in the column of eggs more often than not you get buggage than the other ones but you will get buggage now the last thing i want to get into before starting to show some of this off for example is if you look uh eggs are a good example here with level three and then level four you can see kamatoch tamatoch toch and these you know don drakich and all drakich actually appear in both columns and if you look in the gem spore and sweet night section the fans shirts and badges for the sweet knights appear in both level three and level four column what this means is that you can use a level like you can have technically like let's say a cinnamon fan and you can result in getting a level three or a level four item out of it depending what your first one is you put an egg in first you can get an egg you know put a mugwort in and then a you know cocoa fan a choco fan sorry you can get anything in level three but you can also get it in level four and i'll get to a tip with that in a minute which i actually just used in the start of my og playthrough so let's just head in and i'll head to a flower and we'll touch base on how and just showing it off Alrighty, so now looking at heading into this, you want to know where your flowers are. Now, 
I can't remember all the later games. Obviously, this is a game I've completely finished. But uh, just to go through some, I know... Uh, because if you're looking for the rarer eggs, you're more likely looking for an earlier game. But you could be looking at any stage. But um, Windbound, which is our first lot, it's on the isle third island. Wind Shelter, third island. I think in Way of Wind it's on the second, but I would have to check. One I do use once I'm a little further through is number four, uh, Wind Patina. And that's because it actually is on the first island, so it's like quite easy to get to. Um, what I should know is I bought a couple different items so I can show a couple different things off, but my plan is to first off just work at showing off, um, oh god, alright, let's see if I can pull this off, damn it, alright, I'll just quickly kill him, um, but yeah, I just want to quickly show off the, kind of the basics of it, so it's quite easy to follow. Uh, we should kill him with you two because, as I said, we've completely finished the game. Also, if you're wondering, this is from my playthrough of using Alcos only. So that whole playthrough is live on my channel and I'm starting the next one now. But anyway, yeah, everyone, shush. Alright. Uh, I didn't pick up an item in that one because I am full. Alright, so just here you promptly click on it and try putting an item in now the thing people are nearly always going for is eggs so let's start with eggs i bought a whole heap of different items that we can touch on but let's do eggs so i've got a simple bug itch this actually appears in a lot of different columns i've never had it uh, actually work out to give me something in the higher columns um I would suggest never actually relying on the bug itch or the mugwort as the things to work. The other reason mugwort does show up in the eggs level 3 and 4 is because that's what you'll sometimes all like get. But you can also get an egg, uh, sorry not an egg, a mugwort at different times as it just didn't work. So back to the eggs. Let's say we just used the bug itch, now we're after something level 4. Now as you can see here we have a brilliant gem and it only appears in level four. So putting a brilliant gem in next, as our side, it gave us a Tamatoch. Now, if you are paying attention, Tamatoch actually appears in level three and four. So that was a little bit unlucky. So if we go Tamatoch, this time let's select des Desert Moon. Again, it's a level four rarity, and we got a Karma. Now, just to clarify, which I should have said earlier, I am using the complete edition, which had to have a patch added to it. It will not give you a karma on the normal game ever. So just note that if you are just playing the normal game, especially just on the PlayStation, which I'm also on the PlayStation, but without a patch on it, you won't get the karma. So please don't see this and then spend hours and hours trying for it without patching or doing the work to play the complete edition. But even though it's not on the list, karma will fall in the fourth rarity. So that has given me an egg that is in the fourth rarity. Again, if I didn't want that, um, these are actually all in the fourth rarity. So let's say I have two eggs but left and neither of these are what I want. Let's say I'm after a, a death lutch and got one there. Click these two. And because egg is the first item, it's deciding what item I get out. As you can see, a demo buggage. And the second item, which was the other Slimich egg, which was rare in the fourth rarity or level four, means that the resulting egg I get out comes from the level four column. Now, just to show this the other way around, let's say I pick Twill Mugwort. Now, by picking Twill Mugwort, I am guaranteeing that the thing I'm going to get out of here is from the Herb Elixir Mugwort Powder and Seed section. By picking that, and then I'm just going to go down here and actually pick the Demo Buggage as the egg. We know Demo Buggage lies in the fourth rarity, which means that I'm going to get Mugwort, Citron Powder, Twill Mugwort, Tendai Herb, Mel's Elixir 7, or Calibus Herb. 
And there we go. Let me just do another one to show off. Uh, so let's go healing book. Don't have to worry what rarity that is, but we know that it's, is in books and jewelry. Now let's go up. Where are we? I want the brilliant gem. Again, we know it's in the level four rarity. Click on it. And so we know we're getting a book or jewelry from level four. And we got a full heal book, which if you have a look about seven, no, probably close to 10, I'm not counting it. It's there in a level four column. So that's the basics of it. If that's all you wanted, especially just for eggs, you're fine to finish here. Just make sure the first item is an egg and the second item is something from the rarity column you want. I would also suggest saving before doing this so you're not wasting all your items, especially let's say if you're using something like a, I'm not going to use it, but let's say I'm using, or Calibus Herb, is that one that falls in both? Uh, no, sorry, it does not. But um, Twill Mugwort falls in three and four. And let's say, I don't know, Don Drakich also is three and four. Uh, the other good example is Cinnamon Badgers and Fans. These guys all fall in column three and four. So if you put an egg in first, then Cinnamon Fan, you could get something from either column. So please do make note of that. And you can also end up with a flop at random times of a mugwort. Uh, it usually won't happen when you're following all of this written down. But as I said, some items aren't listed here and they can result in it as well. But I have also had them result in more. So... That's the basics, and that way you aren't wasting a cinnamon fan and getting a Totch egg when really you would rather a uh, Divo Slimich or a Jewel for me, Jewel Oh God, I'll just say Demi Totch because I can't talk. So if that's all you're after, then you can finish here. But I've got a couple of extra hints with both items and um, extended egg merging popularity. So I'll get to that now. All right, so now that I've gone through the basics, if you're still watching, you're obviously after a bit of hints and tips to either make it easier or just how to turn something into a higher level rarity, I guess, and I'll explain it here. But for example, in my old playthrough, which I just did not long ago, like I've started, I got a job early game, which asked me to find a, uh, I actually think it was a Kokona shirt. Now, I hadn't beaten a single boss, but if we look at our rarity for shirts and, well, I should say the Sweet Night Apparel, all the shirts fall within level three and level four rarity. Now, at first I was still looking for a Hellarch too, but because I'm only using um, Ogs, but I could also get a rarer, like a Deathlarch. The thing is, I used the, sh the shirt I had last because if I didn't get the right item from the shirt, I would be resetting because I need this shirt to work out if I want a rarer OG early game. If I got the Hellarch before I used the shirt, which I did in the end, I ended up going and hatching that and doing the use of the shirt later. The problem here is every time I use the shirt, even though it's a three and four column rarity, I was finding majority of the time I was only getting the ones that appeared in both level three and four. And I wanted to see if there's a way that I could possibly make it a little bit easier for myself. And then I thought maybe this would work. So for starters, and I bought these, for example, I got a flame book. Now we know flame books, if we look at the book section, are... Uh, you know, level one, so they're not rare. And that doesn't matter, but it's a book. Now, if we mix it with a cinnamon shirt, which is a level three and four, we're gonna see what we get from this. And we get a full heal book. And I know for a fact, it's about a third of the way down in the fourth column. So our rarity four of the books. So I've just turned my cinnamon shirt, which if I have that before, the first boss is very rare, three and four level rarity, with a book which I can buy for $20 into a level four exclusive rarity item. And so now I could, if I was you, I not because I've just got all these items to show, it's not factual story use, but I would go save it now. 
because you have a level four only rarity item and you can reuse that over and over. So let's say I pick a character and I scroll down and I have, oh, it'll be down the bottom. No, wait. no it's above these, sorry. And then I have my full heal book. Let's see what we get. Now, I probably will get a touch or something from the fourth column because it's been doing this to prove me wrong. But this is a level four exclusive item. I can go now, save it. Like, I, sorry, not well, I can reset the PlayStation or I can save it in another slot, click no, and then reload up. And I still have that full heal book. Uh, we'll do it again, just for the sake. Let's grab a flame book, mix it with a badge. We got a battle tiara, which is level four and not in level three. Oh, sorry, it's in both three and four. So it's no use. Um, just choose battle tiara again for the sake of it. I got a revive ruby, which if we look through is there in about midway of level four and I cannot see it in level three. So now I've turned another one from three and four into three, uh, sorry, into four only. I'll go down to my revive Ruby, I'll use it and it'll probably screw me over again. It did. So I'm just gonna take a moment to, I'm gonna repeat the process, but save you guys watching. I'm just gonna show you once I get a rarer egg from it because I want to prove that it works but I also don't want to just sit here and repeat myself for it not to work. Can't see inciting book on my list. Now, I don't think this level four has all of them, as some of them I think are a bit rare and not included. As I said, I do have the final edition as well. So let's just try egg with this. And it'll probably give me a touch or something again. There we go, we got a Deathal Koch. Now, I believe that is one that is locked behind, again, the um, final version. It's the one I got on the, it's just that slightly different color Mecha Alcott, if I'm correct, but I could be wrong. Um, so there we go. Now, if I, let's say, got Deathal Koch, and that's not the one I want, I'd actually keep this egg as the item to merge from now on because i find once you have that super rare egg merging it again as the catalyst this time not as the egg but as the catalyst you can see i got a whiskerack a whiskeratch and now i got that i can do it again i got a diff slimich and i'm going to use the whiskerash at ratch again and i got a dega drakich now just to recap what I've done. So, actually, let's go. We got a flame book because we want a book. We got our shirt, let's say, that we got from that mission really early game. We mix them together and we got our Inferno book, which I know is... Actually, I should double check before I confirm, but I believe, yeah, it's only in tier four now it's towards the top of tier four i'm not 100 sure how it works if there's a reason there in that list it may be not as rare but as i said we can mix it with an egg now and see what we get knowing my luck it's probably just going to give a touch but you just saw me do it nope oh don drakage sorry yeah so it's not rare but we got the death um yeah the death alco or alcoch because of this method so you pick a first item i find book or jewelry works really well and you can buy flame books for 20 dollars. mix it with a fan or that which is your level three or four item and you're looking to receive an item which is exclusively in the level four column as i said some may not work save once you get your level four exclusive item and then you can continuously repeat trying with that if you find it's not working, you can remix it as the catalyst with another book and see if you get a better item. That's fine. But you want something you're finding that's working. And once you end up with a rare, rare egg. So generally, if you look at your egg column quickly, I'll go again. Is anything from the 
uh, Degger Drakic, which is this one I have here, downwards through the rest, which I just realized they all start with D from there on. Anyway, not the point. Um, is one of the eggs you want. If you get any of the ones above it, sorry, no, if you get any of the ones above it up to the Tamatoch. So Tamatoch, Toch, Kamatoch, Don Drakic, All Drakic are three and four. The egg you want is one that's exclusively four. Now I've gotten, I've repeated this a little bit and reset to get better items or re get my items because I've got a fair few Toches or that. But it didn't take me overly too long to get that rare egg. And once you have that rare egg, you're pretty much set to be able to then shift through until you get what you want. And you can do that with any other item. If for some reason you really don't want that, you're after a specific really good book or, uh, you know, a weapon or the jewelry, I should say, that gets used or something like that, you can work for that too. But generally you can find a lot of that stuff where the eggs are the one things you'll be merging for that you can't. So as I said, that's just a bonus on where to build from. You can find a lot of the rarer items the further into the game you get, or even buy them, but ones like this that you can get from a mission really early game are vital to save and turn into something better. And that's why I suggest trying to remove it from the three and four column and try and use it to make an item for the four column only. So I hope that's explained it pretty well, but overall do remember to save uh, especially when you have a rare item that you don't want to lose because it's not always going to give you what you want. Sometimes you'll turn up and it takes you very little time at all. Sometimes it can take you a long time. And I know this because I've done it a lot through my playthroughs, especially through the Alco and now my OG only playthroughs and others will, where I'm coming down looking for one egg exclusively out of that tier four or level four eggs. And I might only have two items that work with it to be able to get that. Or I have one really rare egg, so I've just got to keep using that egg with the eggs I have. And if it results in a mugwort, a bug itch, or a camatoch, toch, one of those ones, then I'm pretty much done. They're not really gonna give me the level four again and I have to restart. And even when I'm getting the level four exclusive eggs, a lot of the time they're not giving me what I want. So it can take a fair while. And as I said, I know it because I have to edit my videos down because I cut a lot of merging out sometimes. Uh, if you have any questions, pop them down below. If there's anything else you want a bit of info on, I think I'm going to do a little video um, explaining about Chrome Beasts. As you can see there, when it loads, on the back side, I have a Chrome. It's actually not a Mecha Alcott family. It's that one that's locked behind the Complete Edition at some stage. And I might even put something up about the Complete Edition, even with a link of how to possibly get it or do it. But that's a bit later. But the, the item merging and the eggs is something that I've noticed, uh, something a lot of people are after. And as you can see, only three of my team here, the front three, are actually the basics. The rest of them are actually level four eggs. So I've obviously done this, and this is just on these. I've got many other games that I've played through saved, even lost memory cards over the years where I've learned to do this. Um, and I will have linked down below this guide, this... Um, walkthrough it has a lot more information than just this both on the beasts other things it will have some things which aren't in here because this is not for the complete edition but you can easily look that up if you are playing the complete edition but anyway guys gals and non-binary pals until my next video i'll see ya